And when I was six months old, we're in some little town, small hotel, and I fell down a full flight of stairs at the bottom, to the bottom. They come running up. I sat up and just shook, shook my head and shook it off and didn't cry. So I knew I wasn't hurt. And Houdini says, that was sure a buster, meaning a fall. But that's the only time it was used. It meant a Bronco buster or a fall. It was never used as a name. My father said, well, that would be a good name for him. It don't sound bad. Now, I was born with the Keaton Houdini Medicine Show Company on a one-night stand in Kansas. It's a shock to anybody that's in the motion picture business today. I mean, you're... That brings up the, up the pictures of the last 25 years or so. I didn't know the, the silent days. A picture picture, neither Chaplin, Harold Lloyd, or myself ever had a script. That sounds impossible to anybody today in the picture business. We never even thought of writing a script. We didn't need to. By the time we had talked and worked out what we thought was a picture, for instance, we always got a start. People always come up with a start. So that's funny. That's a good start. Well, we want to know the finish right then and there. So there's nothing else to work on but the finish. And if we can't round it out, just something we like, we throw that one away and start on a new one. What good would a script been doing? You just throw gags out right and left when we're shooting because they don't stand up and they don't work well. And then the accidental ones come. Well, you see, I learned that from the stage. That I was the type of comedian that if I laughed at what I did, the audience didn't. So I just automatically got to that stage where the more seriously I took my work, the better laughs I got. Well, my old man was an eccentric comic. And as uh, soon as I could take care of myself at all on my feet, he had slap shoes on me and big baggy pants. And then just start doing gags with me, especially kicking me clean across the stage or taking me to the back of the neck and throw me. And as I grew used to doing it and knew how to do it, it's always become longer. And by the time I got up to around seven and eight years old, we were called the roughest act that was ever in the history of the stage. What is it? Oh, about 50% you have in your mind before you start the picture, and the rest you develop as you're making it. That's right, we eliminated subtitles just as fast as we could if we could possibly tell it in action. Well, when we found a finish, how to round that out, we never worked on the middle. We always figured the middle would take care of itself. Well, I had a similar hat on the stage before I went into pictures. I went into pictures when I was 21 years old, that's in the spring of 1917. into pictures with Roscoe Arbuckle. I mean, his, his pictures are the first ones I appeared in. And I'd only been with him a short time, and he says, there's something you want to bear in mind, that the average mind of the motion picture audience is 12 years old. He's a 12-year-old mind. It's very entertaining. I was only with him about another couple of months or something like that, and I said, Roscoe, something tells me that those that continue to make pictures for 12-year-old minds ain't going to be with us long.